Bands time to shine. Welcome back to the channel, man. Hey, man. I let y'all have the one with Kiki Palmer. I let that one go. I didn't say much. I remember I talked a little bit about that on the podcast um, back in December. I let y'all have that one. I didn't, I didn't say shit about the one with Usher and Kiki Palmer. Y'all, people, I didn't say shit. I could have did a video about that, and that video would have probably went viral because the shit I would have said about it. But then I did some studying on it. I did some looking over it. You know what? It is what it is. Let them people be them. Now, here we go again. And, and, and bro, listen, I, I, I fucked with Usher on Moesha. Usher, Usher had one of the best, bro, Usher is, I don't know what he's doing with the waves now, but Usher's waves back in the day was raw. And I'm only saying this because back in the day, I used to look at everybody's waves like, I'm about to have waves better than this person, that person, that person. But anyways, I let y'all have the one with Usher and Kiki Palmer. I let y'all have it. But we gotta, I gotta talk about this one. So listen, so listen, bar. I'm a better, I have a better understanding of certain things than most people. I'm not finna just come up here and just start roasting this female, roasting Alicia Keys, whatever, whatever. I, I, it came to my knowledge, Alicia Keys is in a relationship. Listen, I don't pay attention to none of these. Like, I'm sorry. The ones that I'm not really too in tune with their work, I don't even pay attention to them. I didn't even know she, somebody told me she had a man. You know what I'm saying? And apparently he's a known person at, at that. So with that being said, bro. Listen, no man is insecure for not wanting a woman, no ma especially if they are of status themselves, not doing this on stage. They're not insecure because they're like, hey, y'all could dance. Y'all could look each other in the eyes, move a little bit. Y'all could dance. Y'all could y'all 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 could even do the little bump back in the day. The, the bump, the old school shit where they bump the hips together. Y'all could even do that maybe. You know what I'm saying? But another man coming behind you doing that, oh, hey, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this was rehearsed, if this was in the script, if this is what they did. I don't know. We don't know the whole story. But I'm going to flat out say this. You are not insecure if you do not want your woman, no matter how famous she is, no matter how famous he is. Because at the end of the day, especially if you got some status, he is another man. He breathes just like you breathe. You know what I'm saying? You ain't. You are not insecure for that. Insecure is one your girlfriend password to Instagram, one her password to her phone, one her location. Always calling her when she's out. That's insecure. Telling her to stay on the phone with you when she when she's coming home or her, when she's on her way home with her friends. That's insecure. You know what I'm saying? Pulling up to her, pulling up to her job all the time to see if she's really at work. That's insecure. You get what I'm saying? Same thing with the woman. A woman doing all that, going through the phone and all that. That's insecure. We gotta understand there's the thin line between insecure versus boundaries. You know what I'm saying? This is hey, to me, would I be cool with this shit? Hell no. Would I be cool? No. Y'all could like I said, y'all could dance on stage. Y'all could look each other in the eyes. Y'all could do the little head bop. Y'all could even do the old, like I said, you could do the old school bump of the hips, whatever. Cool. But would I personally be cool with this? No, because at the end of the day, I'm a man. It's not even about his status being way higher than mine. It's just the principle of things. You get what I'm saying? But 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 hear me out on this though. At the end of the day, if I'm married to a woman who is a performer and a singer, I have to understand certain things. That's why I said I wouldn't even want to do that. It's too much entertainment. Entertainment in a in a relationship is not good. Too much of it. Because listen. I under, I'm a YouTuber, so I understand you got to be entertaining with this shit. You can't be boring. You can't be dry. Not in this day and age. It's hard to become a content creator. It's hard to become a singer. It's hard to become all that shit. You got to find something that's likable about you. That's why, hey, sex sells. They're shaking ass in music videos. It sells. Motherfuckers waving guns in videos. It sells. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wouldn't even put myself in that position, but hear me out. She's a performer. He's a performer. I guarantee you, if we look at the ratings for the Super Bowl performance, the halftime performance, it skyrocketed through the roof. Performances went crazy. I guarantee you, you look at if you look at the views, the, the viewership all across the whole world, everybody's talking about this on social media. It's getting clicks, it's getting, it's getting attention. That's probably why they did it. I understand that from the entertainment aspect. This is what comes with entertainment. That's why in being an entertainer and all this extra shit, it comes with things. Everybody looks at all the glamour, all the all the fame, all this, all that, but you don't understand it might ha have it might require you to do something that you may not want to do. I don't think Usher has any problem doing this shit. I'm just, I'm just being honest because I'm pretty sure they're not hollering at each other after this shit. I'm pretty sure it was just that's just what the what it was for the performance. But at the end of the day, it's entertainment. It's gonna sell. It's gonna make the view, bro. It's gonna make the crowd go crazy. It's gonna make everybody start talking about this. That's what it's supposed to do. Not everybody is not everybody is a Michael Jackson. 
performing a halftime show solo, that bitch going to sell out. Not everybody's like that. Not discrediting these two, but not everybody can just perform solo. Got a whole solo segment. Not everybody can headline some shit by themselves, dance, sing, all that, and that shit sells out. Not everybody can do that. Some people have to do this type of stuff to get the crowd in, to get the sales, to get the views, all that shit. So I understand that from an entertainment standpoint. I do understand that from that, from, from that standpoint, doing YouTube, you have to be entertaining. Any type of, it's not even just YouTube, any type of singer, rapper, whatever, it's all about, it's all about entertainment at the end of the day. Listen though, back to the insecure thing. I already explained what insecure was. Listen, this, if you call a man insecure because he doesn't, he's not cool with this, I, I just don't know anymore. It's like, you can call, 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 call me what you want, then I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. If you t ask me, am I cool with another man doing this? I don't give a fuck if it's Usher. I don't care if it's T.I. I don't care who the fuck it is. Nigga, no. Nigga, Jay-Z. Jay-Z and Beyonce was at this show. Let's say Beyonce performed at this bitch. You think that nigga would have did that with... You think... You, you think... Listen, because it probably matters with status, huh? It, it's probably a status thing, too. You think this... You think as big as Usher is, you think this nigga would have did that with, with, with Beyonce? Jay-Z in the crowd? Get out of here. You know he's not doing that. Because that's Jay-Z. It's probably a... It's probably a... It's probably a... Uh, um, What's that shit called? It's probably a, a status thing, to be honest. But if you a real man, you ain't going to let your status determine how you move and how you think. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna... Just because my status not there don't mean I'm supposed to be cool with another man who has a higher status than me. That's just not me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go on social media about it. I'm not going to do this, do that. Because that's, that's what Kiki Palmer man did. He, that's where he fucked up at. You should have just waited till her ass got home and took care of that shit, nigga, behind closed doors. Because then you got everybody involved in that shit. You got to control yourself. But you're not insecure. Hey, bro, you're not insecure at all. For not want for for not being okay with something like this, you got to just make sure you go about it the right way. But you're definitely not insecure for not being cool with that. We throw that insecure word out a little too, a little too loosely in my eyes. We have to understand the definition of things before we throw it out. I already stated what makes you insecure. If that man has her password, wants her Instagram password, her Twitter password, wants to uh, tell her, hey, you got to be home by this time or, well, certain times, well, that, that's a little bit different, but it just always calling her when she's out, telling her to turn her location on, send, send him location all the time, not even just for safety issues, just because I want to see if you're really at where you at. That's insecure. If you can't wear... If he gets mad when you wear a bathing suit, that's insecure. You know what I'm saying? If he tells you, hey, I don't want you showing any type of skin, now that's insecure. This look, I'm, I don't see nothing wrong with her showing a little bit of her thighs, a little bit of skin. Like, you know what I'm saying? You see the body every day. You know, she's not going to do nothing crazy. Now, if she just want to walk around with her ass out all the time, ass cheeks hanging out, damn near naked all the time, that's a whole different ball game. But telling her she can't wear a bathing suit, can't do this, can't do that, now that's insecure. There's a difference between insecure and boundaries. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. If you let me know where you gonna go, or you gonna be out tonight with your friend, with your with your, with your female friends, it's a it's, you guys had a, a little you guys had a little get together for her birthday. It was a little girls girls night, whatever. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be at the crib. You just let me know what time you get there, what time you gonna be back, et cetera, et cetera. We good, you know what I mean? But this type of shit, like what she do right here, and he's smiling. He big teeth in right there too. I'm not gonna lie. That's not this. Hey, I don't know if this was part of the routine. They might have rehearsed this. They might have not. We don't know the whole story. But moral of the story is I'm saying do not let somebody tell you you're insecure because you think that that's a little too much. Like I said, y'all could dance. Y'all could look each other in the eyes. Y'all could do. Y'all could even do the old, like I said, the old school little bump thing where you guys bump the hips together. Uh, hey, it, hey, even that is a little eh, but I'd rather that than this. Anyways, man, y'all make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you are new. Appreciate the love. 606 subscribers. Now let's get to 700 and I'm gone, man.